So before we can show banner ads in our app, we have to first register our app. We do that on the website. Under the cross promote heading, we click new app. We enter the name. In this example, it's going to be my awesome game. We specify a Windows Phone 8.1 Plus. We'll add the store URL later when the app's completed. And we click create. I need to create an ad unit, which is going to be a banner ad. And to save time, I'm going to load one from a template I created earlier. To learn more about templates, see our other video on creating ads. Click OK. All the details are loaded. Click Save. And if we come back up to this Code tab, we can see what we need to do in Visual Studio. Here in Visual Studio, I've got a simple demo app I'm going to use for the example. When working with the Add Duplets control in a universal XAML app, we first need to install an extension. If you haven't done this, go to Tools, Extensions and Updates, and search online for Add Duplex. We're building a XAML app, so we'd install the XAML extension. You can see I've already got this installed, so I don't need to. If you need to install it, you'll need to restart Visual Studio after you've done that to correctly use the control. When that's installed, we can add the reference. If we come over to References, Add Reference, if we search within the Windows Phone 8.1 extensions, we'll see the Add Duplex SDK. We tick that, and OK. That reference is now added to our project. We can now ready to add the control to our page. First, we need a namespace, and the easiest way to get this is to copy it from the Add Duplex web page. So here's our add unit. Copy this namespace. Top of the page makes it easiest. Now we want the control. We'll copy this as well. By copying it and pasting it, we get the add unit ID and the app key already added for us. Let's align this to the bottom of the page. Ooh. Set the vertical alignment to the bottom, and we're done. Now, if we just run, emulator is firing up. And when the page loads, if we look at the bottom of the page, we see we're already serving ads. It really is that simple. So once we've added the control and successfully submitted our app to the store, we need to come back to the website and tell Add Duplex that's done. We do that by clicking the Confirm button. And we'll OK that. If we haven't already done so, we need to come back up and add the missing store URL. We can just paste that in, click the tick, and we're done. The other thing we can optionally do is add the tracking code. This will allow Ad Duplex to tell us when someone installs the app after clicking on one of the ads. You'll notice here there are two sets of instructions. The top one's if you're building a Silverlight app. The bottom one is what you want for a XAML app. We just copy and paste this as instructed. Then you're done.